The Sri Lankan army is still edging forward, bit by bit forcing the Tamil Tiger rebels into an ever smaller area. The Sri Lankan forces may be winning militarily, but the propaganda battles proving much harder. The government and army brief foreign diplomats and ambassadors in the capital after rising concern over the number of civilians trapped in the battle zone. The aid agencies say around a quarter of a million. The government insists the real figure is half that. The president has given the LTTE rebels a deadline of 48 hours to allow the civilians to leave. There'll be no ceasefire, and if they don't, the signs are ominous. We will liberate those areas where they're being held up, and we will free them. And, I, and at the same time, I would like to add to you uh, very clearly that we will not target civilians in the process of doing that. We have not targeted civilians, and we will not target civilians. That's a categorical statement I'm making to you on behalf of the government of Sri Lanka. These uh, terrorists who are endangering civilian lives, who are keeping civilians forcibly in those areas, and uh, in, some, in some instances we believe are responsible for the killing of civilians, uh, will have nowhere to go. They will be boxed in and they would have no other choice but to surrender. So uh, we are determined not to have a ceasefire and we are determined to uh, eradicate terrorism on the face of Sri Lanka. The government claims the rebels are hiding amongst the civilians and some have been coerced into joining the fight. But reports of widespread civilian deaths are simply wrong. These pictures appear to contradict that. They were sent to us by a Tamil who said the victims had been killed by government forces. Most are children. It's impossible to know how they died or to verify any of these claims as there is little access to the battlefield. But dissent is not tolerated. This journalist's been detained without trial for a year. He'll appear in court next week, charged with writing inflammatory material. He faces up to 20 years in jail for two articles which question the killing of civilians and accuse the government of failing to stop thousands of abductions. As a result, I have been threatened. This young Tamil woman, who's too scared to be identified, told us she suffered daily threats and intimidation. We've altered her voice for her own safety. Uh, very frightened at this point. Uh, you could, they, I mean, they are detained now, you know that, but they could disappear at any point. Uh, I could disappear at any point. Uh, and there's nothing you can do, basically, in a sense. Uh, once you disappear, you disappeared. The Sri Lankan authorities say this is the end game, and the Tamil Tiger rebels are playing their last card, trying to manipulate the media and fool the international community. All the while, the civilians are suffering while the two sides battle it out.